Hello and welcome to Ask a Geek, a series of videos uh, with as little geek speak as possible. This particular question comes from Susan Morell at Lakeside Elementary School. Her question was, how do you take a border template into a Google Doc and then type on top of it? So hopefully this video will help. So this particular video is going to show you all how to bring in a, say, template or a piece of artwork and actually type on top of it. So like in the olden days when you had Microsoft Word, you would bring in, say, a flower border, and then you'd be able to type in the middle of it. Um, in Google Docs, it's a little different, but not much, just a few extra steps involved. This video is, I hope, going to help you all to understand that. So let me kind of show you my process. What I ended up doing was going in at first initially looking for my flower border. So I put in flower. I went into Google and put in flower border. And opened up images for flower borders. You want to stay away from those that have the words <laughs> in them. The uh, they get in the way, um, plus they are also copyright. Um, so you want to make sure you are clear copyright free. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it with this one. In this particular one, I went ahead and clicked on it to open it to this size. If you right click on it, you can actually have, a lot of people don't know this, but you have the ability to save it to your Google Drive. That makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to select Save Image to Google Drive, and it actually saves it with this crazy long name, but I'm actually going to rename it. I've, I've done this already, so I'm going to tell you what I did. I renamed it, hit that, renamed it um, like Flower Border or something like that. I even chose the destination, where what folder I wanted it to go to in my Google Drive, but um, you can hit there and do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up, and now we will go back to, you see this tab, we'll go back to this tab right here where the actual document is. So I'm inside the document that I want to create. I've got my cursor up here. I think I went ahead, usually your cursor starts over on this side. I kind of prepared my document ahead of time. So let me show you some of the things I did. First, I want my artwork to be centered. So I'm centering it by putting it there. Cursor then kind of moves over to the center. The other thing I did is I went to File and Page Setup. This is where I can choose Portrait or Landscape. In this case, I want it to be Portrait. But I changed my margins to 0.25 instead of one full inch margins because I want my artwork to kind of really fill that page. So the rest is all fine and set, but I could, if I wanted to, change the background color to another color. Remember that if you're printing this, it doesn't, it's too expensive ink-wise. So I usually keep that white. All the rest is set, and I hit OK. So my page is pretty much done for me to insert that uh, flower border that I found, and this is how you do it. So normally you're thinking, oh, I'm going to go up and insert an image because it was an image that you actually have that you're putting in here. In this case, you want to go to Insert and Drawing because you want to add some more things to that image. So once you go to Insert and Drawing, it gives you like an artist easel, the way I like to look at it, um, and it gives you this little tablet here. You're then going to insert an image by going to that little icon. Let me close this up so you can see it better. That image icon, click there. And you could choose an image if you have that image on, say, your computer or on a thumb drive or something like that. In this case, remember that I saved it into my Google Drive. So I click on Google Drive, and I can tell you it was one of the most recent things I did. So I know that I, it's under Recent. Remember I told you I renamed it? I've actually downloaded it several times for this video, but remember I showed you that I renamed it, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that one, Flower Border, and there it sits. Um, this is where you think, oh, well then I'm going to go ahead and hit Save and Close, but you don't want to quite yet. You're going to have lots of options now that have opened up to you, even more if you click here. Your options open up, and you're going to choose Text Box and then you're going to kind of select to give yourself a little space to to type in in this case whatever you want if it's a letter home to your parents if it's um, you know something you're doing for your kids to do or work on so in this case I'm going to just select this remember again I now more things opened up over here so I can go and change the font Google has such cool fonts I can hit more and then actually opens up to color 
So I can actually make that a prettier color. I can center it. I can make it bolder and I can make it larger. So you can mess around with all kinds of different things like that. So then let's say I also want to enter a text box. Oops. Click on text box and enter a text box down here. And I want to inside here type in um, school year, more say a letter or something, anything you want to, 2017. So I'm going to highlight that and I can hit more, make that in the middle, change colors. So I hope that's helping. We'll pick green this time, make it a little larger. So hopefully that's helped. I can keep that font or you can change the font so that it's the same. So you are all set now. You have created um, the artwork, what you want it to look like, um, and you're set to go. So if you hit save and close because you want it to go, I don't know if you can see in the background here, you want it to go into your Google Doc, hit save and close and it automatically brings it in. But notice it brings it in smaller than what you want. In this case I want mine to fill the page. But here's a couple things to note. Your cursor is down here. If you were to wanting to actually put more words in here, to your parents, today is blah, 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 or some note or something that you're wanting to type down here, you would do that. You would just take your cursor and then just use it, manipulate it that way. The way your artwork comes in, it comes in in line. And that's really the easiest way but you can also have the option to wrap text and break text. Because we went ahead and did that pre-work where we went into file and page setup, it's going to make and set your borders and, and everything. It makes things so much easier that, that working in line, it won't get your artwork all wonky. So be careful, make sure you do that ahead of time. I actually don't want anything there, but I do want this larger. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it only by the corners. If there's anything you learn from this video, please learn that you do not grab your artwork from the middle here. It skews it, makes it all weird. So you're going to want to grab it only from the corners and you notice how it's going to kind of fill in and make things, oops, keep clicking and only grab it from the corners bring it to the point where you feel like, okay, that's probably what I'm looking for. Filling the whole page, creating the border, and everything set. You can print it or you can send it to someone. Um, and here's the neat thing, this beautiful thing about Google. Then next year, if you wanted to change the dates on this or manipulate it, or if you want your kids to even come in and create, like you wanted to just provide the background for them and they cre come in, then you're going to teach them or I'll teach you now. You'll double click and it opens the artwork back up in Google Drawing. You can go to this text box and you can take out and edit that. So for next year, you can see I've set that up for next year. So I can hit save and close and it edits it and changes it and it's ready for next year. So I hope that helped. Um, with uh, actually taking templates and using or borders and using it. You just have to see it as a separate piece of art. So you're actually going into insert, drawing, and manipulating and working on it over there. Hope that helped.